What's going on world? Brand new episode of Royal Key there on your screen. I'm your host, George Kill, and I'm here at the University of Illinois with Coach McDonald. Coach, how are you doing? Doing good, how are you doing? Welcome to Champaign. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm glad to be here. Through my initial walkthrough of this building, there's two things that stick out to me. It's a clean building, it's, it feels very new. And secondly, this is like a student athlete's like paradise. I can bowl here, I can play golf, I can lift weights and see everything like, this has to be an awesome facility for everyone, right? Staff and student athletes. Yeah, it's awesome for our staff, student athletes and recruiting. I mean, when they opened this in 2019, like it, it really changed the game for us for recruiting and just the student overall student health and, and just the mentality of our student athletes. When they come here, they feel like it's home, but they also feel like they can get away from football with some of the amenities that we have also. Definitely. So where are we standing right now? Because I see family spelled the, the Illini way, right? We had another L because we said it has a little bit more love. So right now you're in the lobby of the Smith Center where you come in. We'll do a lot of our check-in. A lot of our pre-activities will be here. Um, this is over 100,000 square feet facility. So, you know, it's, it's really the first entry level into the facility. And before you even walk in, there's a big statue out there that represents Illini history. Oh, that's the Dick Buckus statue. So, you know, he's the foundation of, of what we are as a university in terms of the toughness, the grit and the character. So when you come here, you know, that's what we're going to be about. All right, coach, we have the, the floor to ceiling windows to the right and we'll get into that weight room with a tank. But uh, what's going on over here to the left? So as you come in, you're coming into our nutrition station. And what happens is when guys come in every week and every day, they'll have certain vitamins. We have Leah, our new nutritionist, she'll come in and have specific vitamins for them. We'll have fueling stations where guys can get pre-workout, milkshakes, sandwiches, and then they'll also get their post-workout. They can always come. You know, we have it all designed by if you need to gain weight, maintain weight, or, or just keep it lean. And we usually have it fully stocked for the guys that when, once we get going full board, so they can always have some stuff in there system, either a post-workout snack or a pre-workout snack. Definitely, definitely. Now take me back a couple of years when the team first walked in this area. Everything used to be a memorial stadium. So when you walk in here and you see the bright lights and the orange and the space that we have, I think the kids just went, they went nuts and they really were excited to be in it. You know, the, the unique thing is this shape, this room just shaped like a block eye in terms of the design of it, the two ends. So, so it's been really, really special. And I think the guys take a lot of pride in being here and they just feel, once again, it's more, it's your home away from home, but also gives you the, the the stimulus from the lights and the coloring to really enjoy this facility. One thing I'm noticing, I don't, I don't really see this a lot, is you have this like transparent window here. So I think they're really unique. So you have the transparent window where you, we can have the helmet as our focal point when, when we're in season. And then you open it up and it has a really cool deal where you have your three level dresser drawers. You have your lock pad that also has a USB cord to charge your phones. And then what we really like in the summertime and in the, in the weather when your shoulder pads get wet, we have the ability to put our shoulder pads up here, our cleats right here, and it's a humidifier that'll dry out the, the wetness in the pads so they're always kept fresh. I think the one thing they try to do is keep it everything streamlined. You know, Coach B is real big in organization, so keeping everything organized and then also having a place to, to have some valuables, but also your, just charge your cell phones and your iPads and things like that. I think the lounge is kind of like where they get away and they can shut this door and, and it's really off limits to everybody except for the players. So this is really their haven. You know, we have two stations right here where they can play the Xbox, Playstations, and all the other gaming systems. We have our, our traditional ping pong. We got pool, we got foosball. During the season, we usually have a couple pinball machines right here. Everybody loves to have a game of pop and shot. So we got the pop and shot. And then once again, we're always stacking it with water, Gatorade food. And I think the highlight of the whole deal is the bowling alley. The training camp, you can get some competition, some receivers versus DBs. We'll take it from the field and bring it to the bowling alley and see who can get the most strikes and stuff. I think this space right here really gives them a true sense of withdrawing from football, decompressing, and just having some just normal fun without without the confines of the coaches and stuff like that. So this is kind of like their, their safe haven where they'll come and relax and really let their hair down and kind of get away from football for a little bit. So now as we walk up these stairs going to the team room, this is our wall, which is pretty special to our players because it's our consensus All-American wall where when, if you make a consensus All-American, you get to have your jersey retire. 
I was fortunate enough to play with a couple, uh, Dana Howard, who was a great linebacker here, and then Kevin Hardy. I think the one that makes everyone proud and gives everybody hope for the future is Devin Witherspoon. So this is the bowl history of all the bowls that, that we've been able to play in. You know, I, I was able to play in the 94 Liberty Bowl my freshman year. Uh, so that, that was a game I always remember. And then as you go through, you know, I think it's kind of cool when guys come back, they can kind of see the bowl games we've been to and added to, you know, this year we got the opportunity to play in the, the ReliaQuest Bowl, you know, so as a goal, you know, you have your All-American wall and then you have the, the tribute to all the games, that bowl games that you played. So hopefully over the next course of the years, we can keep adding pitchers right there. So right here, this is our, our upstairs lounge. Really, we use this as, as hosting and dining. So we have our dedication to Red Grange and Dick Buckus who are two of our top players. We have our Wright Family Academic All-American Wall. And then as you look out, more mental health or more student athlete getaways, we have our miniature golf. And then we also have a full function kitchen and barbecue station out there where we'll do a lot of outdoor dining and entertaining during the season and, and out of the season for the players. Coach, uh, who has a better golf facility? Illinois football or Illinois golf? Definitely Illinois golf. Those guys are unbelievable. I mean, the number of championships they've won, they do a great job over there. They'll come out here once again, play some miniature golf. We have all the TVs, one, two, three, four. We got about seven to eight TVs where they can have different games coming on. And then we also have a great surround sound system where they can put in their own music and kind of once again, get away. A couple of our quarterbacks have had quick outs where they've thrown up the grill and got stakes for the offense alignment. Sometimes they add the receivers, but definitely the big guys. And then you can come play a good round of miniature golf. So, you know, this is another nice facility on a good day where you can kind of create your own vibe and create your own atmosphere as you come out here. All right, coach, I get it. Y'all bowl, you pop a shot, you golf. Uh, what is being done around the facility for recovery and, and you know, just getting better for the field? Downstairs on our first level is our training room, but I think this is the hidden jewel of the room because one, once again, it's, it has our reclining chairs. It has a Norma Tech on each, each reclining chair that they can put on their legs. The room can go to pitch black and cold so they can get their quality sleep while they're recovering for their legs or they can watch games or videotape up here. Okay, coach, I think a big part of the recruiting visit is showing where the past are now. Right. right. Can you kind of talk about um, just the Illini in the NFL right now? Well, I think we got a great history of guys in the NFL with the, with the first round draft picks, the guys in the Super Bowl, and then our current roster. I think the one thing when you're walking through this building, going to the team room, like you said, you think about like where you want to go. And as, a, as athletes, we all, for football, we always want to go to the NFL. And then once again, when you come up here, and I think this is a really cool deal, is when you, when you tap on the Seattle Seahawks and you can go see Devon Witherspoon and click on, and then you see him, and then he walked the same track that you're walking. You know, so I think that's really, you know, I think it really hits home now because this is a guy that was in our team room last year this time. And now you see like hard work and dedication to your craft that it's not just a dream or a number on a wall. It's like you sat next to that person every day and you know you can accomplish the same things with hard work. This is awesome. And this is when I came back was one thing that really captured my, my vision because it gives you the view of the field, the practice field where we do all our work. You can see the State Farm Center and you really get a, a sense of being in an elite facility in terms of being able to, to see the practice field. And then you turn around and you have all the seats for all our, our student athletes to have the whole team. And when you want to, you can drop the shades and really dial in the football. But I think this is this is an eye catcher when we bring recruits in, parents in, and, and even when we bring businessmen in. All right, Tank, explain this weight room, man. It, it's, it's really amazing, the floor to ceiling windows. Talk to me about what happens in here. We have 18 total racks. Every rack is equipped with elite form. We have enough force plates to take our full team through a full analysis. But we're all about the, the, the development piece of the student athlete. We're really, really fortunate to have support from Josh Whitman, our athletic director, and our head coach, Coach B, as well. How important is it to have it in close proximity with the player lounge, the locker room? Like, you can literally do a lift here, go up the stairs, and you're right there. It just brings the family closer. Us being able to walk upstairs and check on what's going on in the locker room, 
whether it's pre-workout or post-workout, as well as our nutritionist or our dietitian to be able to look into the glass and see the movement patterns that we're doing or the running patterns that we're doing on the football field. Definitely, definitely. Now take me to one of these racks, man. I know you guys have the latest and greatest technology in not only the facility, but in this weight room. So right now, our major technology is the Elite Form, which I think is the top of the cream. It gives us video analysis to go back and watch the guy perform the movement, as well as track the bar speed. So we love to use our major movements. You can name it from your bench, your squat, any, any type of barbell jump squats. We use it on our trap bar as well. Getting guys to have intense it's gonna be huge. There's two ways to use this. We can use this for, for programming percentages de depending on bar speed, as well as being able to baseline a guy uh, for fatigue management later on down the line when it comes to in-season lifts. The biggest thing that you can do is put it in competitive mode. So our guys can all go through the leaderboard and it changes instantly as a guy beats your number at, you name a percentage, 65 to 70%. And it gets this place, all 18 racks jumping. I mean, like this game day, they have an intent when they walk on the field and they have an intent when they step under the bar. How impactful is this, especially in the state of Illinois? If you cannot, have a shelter over your head when it gets snow and rain, you're gonna lose days. Also, if you have to waste time transporting your team from the weight room to the indoor facility, now you're wasting your athlete's time. We only get eight hours a week because the NCAA rules to impact and develop. So no wasted time, dotting your I's and crossing your T's is, is, is major in this business. So you have to have an indoor, you have to have one. And we have a really, really good one. Describe this process, working with the field turf team and how exciting you guys were to see the finished product. So we would walk out and we would peep in and see the team and the crew getting rid of old turf, bringing new turf in. And I'm just checking my phone, looking at pictures, anticipating the finished day. It was smooth, it was easy, the guys were great with communication, so there wasn't any lack of clarity. Tank, man, I appreciate you showing us around the weight room the turf area right here, man. Again, I said you guys have an awesome facility. I don't know if you can bowl, lift weights, and see outside, golf, all in one facility. Y'all are doing it. Man. We got a nice recipe for success.